ZTE Axe and 7 Teardown. Warning, you are performing this repair at your own risk. We claim no responsibility for any damages that might occur. To perform this DIY repair, you will need plastic triangle opening tool, nylon spudger, SIM card ejection tool, fine tip curve tweezers, precision knife set, multi-purpose heat gun, professional Phillips screwdriver, Power down your ZTE Accent 7 smartphone. Eject the SIM and micro SD card tray. Apply heat to the speaker grills located at the top and bottom of the ZTE phone. Insert a precision knife underneath the top grill and create enough space to fit a triangle tool. Work the triangle tool under the grill and remove it from the Accent 7. Now turn your attention to the speaker grill at the bottom of the device. Use the precision knife and the triangle tool to extricate the grill. Remove the following six Phillips screws. Again, use a precision knife to create space and insert a triangle tool. Release the clips and pop the ZTE Accent 7 out of its rear case. The fingerprint reader cable is still connected to the motherboard, so don't try to remove it entirely just yet. Detach the connector and separate the phone from its aluminum full metal enclosure. Carefully peel up the black tape from the Accent 7's rear case. Separate the Accent 7's intuitively placed pointer finger scanner and the flash cable from the tape.
Remove the falling Phillips screw, securing the metal bracket covering the battery connector and interconnect cable. With the bracket out of the way, disconnect the ZTE Accent 7 battery from the motherboard. Remove the falling two Phillips screws and then the metal bracket. Detach and remove the Accent 7 interconnect cable. The Accent 7 battery is well wedged and adhered in place. Use a combination of the triangle tool and spudger to carefully free it from the adhesive, securing it to the midframe. Lift out the 3,250 mAh Accent 7 battery. Remove the falling four Phillips screws. Spudge up the display connector and power and volume buttons cable. Lift up the Accent 7's motherboard. And detach the connector on its underside. Then extract it from the phone. Disconnect and pluck out the 20 megapixel ZTE Accent 7 rear facing camera. Detach and remove the 8 megapixel Accent 7 front facing selfie camera. Use the tweezers to pry the Accent 7 stereo enabling earpiece speaker out of the chassis. Remove the falling three Phillips screws. Disconnect the signal cable from the daughter board. With a little sputtering, the Accent 7 daughter board is free. It includes the USB-C port and primary microphone. Use the tweezers to help remove the spring contact connected vibrator and the ZTE Accent 7 loudspeaker. The last component to surrender is the power and volume buttons cable. Begin to free the Accent 7 display assembly by using the heat gun to soften the adhesive securing it to the midframe. Use a plastic triangle tool to attack the adhesive. Take your time and apply additional heat as needed. Once you've sliced through the adhesive, be mindful of the display cable when decoupling the ZTE Accent 7 screen from the midframe.
All the replacement parts and repair tools used in the video are available at www.fixeasy.com. Make sure to take a look at our other DIY smartphone and tablet repair tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter.